and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. If you didn't know, we've had a little bit of a move around. I'm still in the same room, but I used to be over there. So I've changed things up, but what a better time to move things around and start things up than with the new season of Love Island dropping last week as I was on holiday. Talk about timing. Talk about timing. But I thought, you know what, I'm back off holiday now. Um, PSA, always wear your sunscreen and make sure it's in date. I did wear my sunscreen yesterday, but I don't think it was in date. So look after your skin, it's very important. I'm also not burned anywhere apart from here. So take of that what you will. I've also been liberally applying aloe vera, so hopefully it helps. But I'm back everyone and I'm very excited because this year we'll be finishing Love Island the Game season four. Love Island in the Game Season 5, and we are starting Love Island in the Game Season 6. Excuse me for the waffle and the start of the stream just being waffle, new setup, everything has happened at once. So we'll see what happens. I've obviously had a look at some of the teasers. I've seen the new characters as they've come up on social media. I don't know the storyline. I've kept away from spoilers. As always, please make sure to only put things that have happened in the episode that I am uploading into the comments in case anyone else has not yet got to episodes in the future and always if you are watching and you don't want spoilers be wary of the comments as well just in case but the new season is here and without further ado we're gonna find out what Love Island Double Trouble is all about. As always a massive thank you to Love Island The Game for helping me to make this journey possible so massive thank you to Fusebox. Here we are back in the filming station. Why does it feel like so long? It hasn't been at all. This is Episode one, summer loving, or sorry, new summer loving. Couple up with a boy of your choice before a familiar surprise comes knocking. It looks like we're starting this season at the start. We painstakingly scoured the nation to find the hottest, most charming singletons around. Then we realized it was a lot easier to just review the applications instead. Luckily, we found some absolute worldies. They've had their summer glow up ready for an unforgettable summer of flirts, bants, and all manner of sexy shenanigans. I'm ready for action myself. And by action, I mainly mean making puns about the steamy antics the islanders get up to. So let's go. It's time to get flirting. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, so this is the new island villa. Summer is back in the villa for a brand new season. An unforgettable summer on Love Island is going to be double the fun. Will our islanders play it safe on their hunt for love? Or roll the dice to find their match? Get ready to strut into the villa and set hearts racing. Love in paradise awaits. And we can start by creating our character. So let's have a good old look through all of these settings. Sadly, we do not get to play as a guy, which was one of our thoughts. We thought maybe we get to play as a guy this time round. The answer is no. I am gonna stick to the palest skin tone because that is what I know. I've just had a thought. We need to come up with a name for our character as well. So I'm gonna have to be thinking about that as we create the character. Are we back to one body type? Hang on, have I missed some? Oh no, okay, here we go. We've got two. This is a bit more like it okay there's obviously still not a lot of scope but this body type looks a lot softer it looks a lot less sort of manufactured the secondary body type from season five gave me a bit of like straight out of the barbie factory feel i like this one a lot I am gonna go for this one, however, and I am gonna go straight onto hairstyles and see what we've got. Okay, there are loads of different things that we can go for, and I feel like I'm slightly channeling this one. Not enough, though. So there are two, three, three options. We've got this one, we've got this one, we've got this one. So there's three free options to start the game with this time round. I feel like I need to create the rest of my character to get like a, a proper view of what hairstyle to go for. I don't mind putting the money in to make the character exactly what we like, but weirdly I'm feeling like none of these options so far, but I think I need to just do the eye colour, do the facial features first. So if we have a look at what eyes etc there are, goodness me, there are some options. I want to create a character that we haven't had before, like something that's brand new, not too similar to something we've had. We could do grey eyes, we've never done grey eyes before. I do like the violet eyes though. These hair colours are so cool! I've just had a look to see what kind of vibes we can go for and I was thinking this strawberry blonde because it's giving me, there's a creator who I love on TikTok 
and it's giving me that vibe. Kirby! Uh, if you know who I'm talking about, let me know in the comments down below. But look at all these options. I feel like a proper mermaid. Okay, what do we think? of our character. If you don't like her, I apologize, but I think I'm a little bit in love. Some thoughts about this character so far, I kind of feel like she's just started her tattoo journey. Um, I feel like she'd have matching shoulders as well, but we're not quite there yet. I love this hairstyle. It has grown on me so much. I've accidentally, or I am about to accidentally spend 47 gems on this look because I love her. The swimsuits, actually, I like a lot of them, but they're not exactly this character. I don't quite get her vibes. In terms of characterization, I think this might be the first character who I feel like could be very much like into women. Um, I've not played a series where I'm like, definitely, definitely, definitely gonna end up with a woman. I'm gonna say for the sake of Love Island and the storyline, she's either bisexual or pansexual. I haven't decided which one, so let me know what you think down below, but I think she could definitely end up with a woman. I like all of the tattoos, but again, and I know this is a struggle because there's obviously, we want every Everything to look consistent but there are a lot of repeated themes. There is a Medusa tattoo which can be shown on multiple places. Butterflies can be pretty much anywhere, the mandala as well. So there is a lot to choose from. I have gone for like a sort of very grey blue eye. I know she looks a little bit similar to Bella with the hair colour but I always thought Bella is like red red hair the same as amber in our too hot to handle series like she is red red hair so in terms of this character i think she's very much strawberry blonde i love the peach lips i think she is a good vibe i think she could be a party girl but also someone who's into surfing like she's definitely giving me aj vibes so we have to think of a name but i do think this is our character and i'm gonna click check out and spend all of the gems that I currently have. And I can't do anything about the shoes. Interesting. But let's click done for now. Oh, we do have to click her name. Okay, so her name is going to be... Okay, so after some deliberation, I think I'm gonna go for Robin, half inspired by Robin from Stranger Things, but also I like the Y spelling. I think it's a bit punchier. I think it suits her hair color and herself. So I think I'm gonna go for Robin. Let me know what you think of that name. I will also say I've been been recording for 20 minutes and I'm sure we're probably only about four or five minutes into the thing at the moment so I've been having some fun with character creation. <laughs> do you like it or do you want to change anything? I like it. Your heart races as you strut into the famous Love Island garden. You take a moment to soak it all in. The vibrant lawn, the neon lettering, the pool, the terrace. Oh you're gorgeous, stop it! This is Ivy I think. I like her, I like her style. She immediately sort of like called out to me when I started looking through everything. So I hope she's romanceable. Get over here. You rush over to hug her. I'm Robin. You're a serious competition, that's what you are. That outfit is the one. Thanks, I thought I'd make an effort. It shows. I'm Ivy. Can you believe with the first two girls? Oh my days, this is amazing. This summer is gonna be lit. Ready to get your flirt on? I'm all about the flirt life. Flirting is life. Just try and stop me. My flirt game might stop you. It's always on point. Looks like we've got that in common then. Something tells me you're not short of confidence. Well, people do say I'm a triple threat, can't lie. The accents will make sense, I hope, and if not, they will adapt over the course of this episode. What else do people say about you? That I'm smart AF and always get what I want. And what do you want in the villa? Every single boy, even if some of them might not be single. Oh. Ivy laughs, loud and confident. Do we have any bubbles? Damn right we do. Ivy goes to pop a gold bottle of champers, but stops as a stunning girl excitedly rushes down the garden steps. Let's get this perfect. Party started, hope you've got a glass for me. This is Bella. I love her as well. I saw her and I was like, yes, this girl knows how to dress, how to be, I like her hair. I'm Bella. Now, obviously we've had a Bella before, but it was an OC, so that makes sense. You two are stone cold beauties. Thanks, Bella. I'm Robin. Ivy, are you poisonous? Bella's laugh bursts out loud, infectious, and joyful. Only when I want to be. Might keep my eye on you then. Let's get into it, girls. What are your types? Love me a bit of tall, dark, handsome. Gotta be ambitious too. What about your type, Bella? Fun, wild, naughty, impulsive. I love cheeky boys. 
and girls. You're into girls too then? Absolutely, open to girls and boys, whoever gives me the tingles. Are either of you open to dating girls as well as boys? I'm open to dating girls and boys. I'm open to dating girls too, for sure. Cool, looking forward to getting to know you more. Maybe sparks will fly. I'm all about the boys. Oh, that's such a shame. I'm all about the bass. I'm a DJ. Cool, what type of stuff? Anything that gets people moving, I'm into all sorts of stuff. Depends on the whole vibe of the venue. What do you do, Robin? Whoa, there are so many, so many options. Influencer, personal trainer, engineer, charity worker, entrepreneur, training architect, fashion designer, or trying to work it out. Now, I felt like she was a bit of a surfer on the side, so maybe she could be all about fitness, she could be a personal trainer, but I feel like maybe we go personal trainer. She's not too much into like the influencer life, but obviously she's racked up a couple of hundred followers maybe on her Instagram, nothing too influencery. I'm gonna say personal trainer. I'm a personal trainer. Are either of you two gym girls? I don't go to the gym, but I uh, do stay healthy playing netball with friends. I prefer to get sweaty in different ways. The girls laugh. What about you, Ivy? I'm a lab technician in Oxford. Absolutely love it. Working on this project. There's another girl coming in. A gorgeous glam girl with big hair, big heels, and bigger confidence sachets into the garden. This is unreal. Hey girls. This is Grace. She has so much character. I love her. I feel like the thing that I just feel like Fusebox really, really listened to all of the stuff that we were talking about character design from the last couple of seasons because all of these look like they could be real people. They are amazingly unique. They've all got different features. They've all got different hairstyles. Even our OC looks different to the other characters in the villa so far. And I just, I am excited about this season. Fusebox, you really did this. Also, excuse the sunburn. I can't believe I'm really here. Grace squeals as you all rush over to meet her by the pool. She pulls you into a big group hug. You girls nervous? I was bricking it walking in. You're all looking on point, ladies. So are you, babe. Where are the boys at then? Someone's keen. What type of boy are you hoping for? Not a boy, a man. A big hungry man who can sweep me off my feet. But needs morals too. Knows how to treat me right. Dated more than my quota of players. I've said that before, more than once. Oh, you never told us your type, Robin. My type is boy next door, I think. Or girl next door. I've always loved the boy next door type. A good guy. They keep it chill, but they're still a vibe. Yeah, I get that. Well, million dollar question, girls. How long have we all been single for? I have been flying solo for a while. I've been a single Pringle for a bit now. You know how it is. The single life's fun, but it's time for something real now. Damn right. Two years for me, I've seen people, but nothing major. About six months and that wasn't that serious. Ready for something a bit deeper now. I haven't had anything serious since my first proper boyfriend. Oh, nothing like first love. Why did it end with him? I got bored waiting for him to get his life together. Savage. Who's got time to wait for someone to start stepping up? We've all got a first love story. What about yours, Robin? What's yours, Robin? We wanted different things. I guess we just wanted different things. It was a while ago now. I'm still stung though. I caught pretty deep feelings. Yeah, nothing hits like that first love. I found out later he left town abruptly. I feel like there's more to this story. I guess there is something more. You might have heard of him. No way, he's famous. Is he an actor? An influencer? Is he a model? He is a musician. Is he famous famous or kind of famous? Bet he's totally famous famous. No way, who is it? Put us out of our suspense, Robin. He's Zeph. You dated Seth? I love him. He's amazing. How did you meet him? We met randomly. I met him really randomly at a bus stop when I was younger. Clicked straight away and swapped numbers. It went from there. Wow, it's like you live in a rom-com, Robin. Well, that trumps our ex stories, girls. He's massive. I guess I knew him before he got big. I didn't even know why he left town until I saw he was on tour. How long were you together? Well, we weren't together properly. We kissed a bunch of times. Well, I can't top that. Anyway, let's move on. Should we check out the villa before the boys get here? Great shout, let's do that. You rush into the stunning bedroom and the other girls following close behind. You see your name on one of the beds and rush over to it. This is amazing. It's so 
is swanky. I feel like I'm at home already. Grace and Bella jump onto beds either side of you. There are two free beds. Ivy jumps on the furthest one away. I fancy a bit more privacy. We're all still gonna see and hear everything that goes on in here. If I crack on with someone, it will be on the down low though. Stealth mode. You won't miss it if I crack on with someone. Something tells me you're the noisy type, Ivy. And something tells me you might find out soon enough. <laughs> the girls all laugh. What's your crack on style, Robin? Like I tell you all. I'm gonna hold on to a little bit of mystery, at least for now. Classy and mysterious. Unlike you, Ivy. I want a mister, not mystery. I can't wait to see what flirty stuff goes on in here over the summer. You'll put your Love Island personalized suitcases next to your beds. You notice Grace looking at the remaining empty beds. Who do we think the other bed's for? Smells like a bombshell coming in to me. Speculate all day long, ladies. I'm checking out the terrace. You rush out onto the intimate terrace. Grace sprawls out on the seating. Bella runs her hands through the flowers lining the walls. This is the perfect place for secret kisses. Planning your secret kisses already? Maybe I am. This is perfect for listening into the secret boy chats in the garden. Someone's getting sneaky and I love it. Your phone pings. The girls scream in excitement. I got a text. Girls, get ready to meet the boys. The first coupling is nearly here. And there might be a familiar surprise for one of you. Hashtag double take. Hashtag blast from the past. Are we getting a secret X? Maybe come back into the villa? Someone whose name maybe starts with Z, ends with F, something along the lines of Zeph. Honestly, I wouldn't be too upset because unlike the X in the last season, it seems like we just wanted different things. There's no maliciousness so far. And a musician could definitely be our type. But we do want to end up with a girl. Maybe, we'll see what happens. What does that mean? That's gotta be a bombshell. What if your ex is coming into the villa, Robin? No, couldn't be. Could it? Or could it? Nah, that happened last season. I swear I was just talking about how much I love it when characters are meta. That was a meta move and I really enjoy that. Characters who know what the last season was. This makes me happy. What do you think it is, Robin? I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. It could be anything. It could be an ex-islander. Imagine if it's Nicholas from last year. Oh, what if it's uh, what's his name who dated what's her name? That doesn't narrow it down much, Bella. Girls, we don't have time for this. Need to get ready for the coupling. Whatever it is, I'm looking my best for it. Dressing room, girls. You rush after Grace towards the dressing room. The girls frantically touch up their hair, makeup and outfits. They're all looking ready for action. You check yourself out in the mirror and you're looking fire in your outfit. You wonder whether or not to make any final adjustments to your look. Okay, I don't think we need to. We've only just started, but... I suppose we could have a look at adding jewellery. This hairstyle has done us a solid in the fact that it has covered up our earrings completely. I will put these ones on though. As for necklaces, I feel like I've got the wrong swimsuit on for necklaces. Oh, but the shell necklace is so us. We might have to buy that later down the line. Yeah, I think we'll buy a necklace later down the line and probably the shells one. As for shoes, I am glad shoes are back. The trainers could be a vibe, you know. She could be a trainer girly. Okay, we'll go with this. You're looking on point, ready for the first coupling. Grace's phone pings. I got a text, girls. Grace, it's time to see the boys. Please meet them by the pool for the first coupling. Hashtag first pick. Hashtag boys, boys, boys. The girls all scream in excitement. Wish me luck, girls. Before anyone can respond, Grace has run out of the room. She wasn't wasting any time, was she? Shall we head to the terrace to get a sneak peek of the boys? Yes, Robin, let's go. You, Ivy and Bella all run out to the terrace. You crowd onto the terrace, stealing peeks over the side of the garden below. Grace is talking to four boys, but you can't see them clearly. You hear laughter, but you can't make out much. Sounds like her flirt game's the real deal. You haven't seen mine. All about the eye contact, ladies. Two of the boys have stepped forward for her. You see Grace give one of them a big hug as she joins him. Your phone pings. Robin, please head to the lawn to meet the boys. Time to get a closer look. Go get them. You take a deep breath before leaving Ivy and Bella on the terrace. You strut across the garden towards the four boys lined up by the pool. They all cheer as you approach. Ivy yells down from the terrace. Time to see the flirt game you promised, Robin. I'm going to be as cool as as ice. You strut across the lawn, avoiding eye contact as you feel the boys gaze on you. You give nothing away. 
but you can sense their excitement. Well, boys, I guess the Summer of Love can get started now I'm here. If you play your cards right, that is. Yes, Robin, that's how to make an entrance. Gray stands arm in arm with a tall, hunky boy who shoots you a confident grin. Think you got everyone's attention there, Robin. I'm Ozzy. This is Ozzy. Oh my goodness. Hello, Ozzy. Love the sense of style. Really a big fan of that. I'm not sure about the, the whole, hey, Ozzy. You two just coupled up then? Felt the vibe, so I stepped forward. This is a new couple, Grace and Ozzy. Had to snap him up, didn't I? He's gorgeous. Not that you're not too, Louie. Yeah, I stepped forward, but not gonna lie. You two do look good together. This is Louis. Could he be our singer-songwriter? He looks very sweet. He doesn't look like a singer-songwriter in the sense that it's very business. And I'm glad I'm still single now meeting you, Robin. You look absolutely stunning, so... Hopefully I've got a shot with you. Guessing you might have some competition there, pal. I'm Jamal. This is Jamal. He looks so cheeky chappy. I'm a big fan. <laughs> you turn to the remaining boy who shoots you a boyish smile and runs his hand through his wavy hair. Hey Robin, loving your energy. I'm Ryan. This is Ryan. I think he might be the singer-songwriter, but he's very short. Not that that's an issue, but is that the kind of guy we're thinking about? Maybe he's not short. Maybe he's just short compared to the other boys. I don't know. He definitely looks younger. He he must be the youngest one out of all of them, surely. Great to meet you boys. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourselves? I'm from Newcastle originally. I do back in dancing for artists. Oh, anyone we've heard of? That would be telling, wouldn't it? I do some modeling too, but dancing's my jam. Hope you boys brought us some moves. I always bring moves, mainly on my board though. You're bored? I'm a skateboarder. Can you see Robin just being like, surfboard? I'm a skateboarder and videographer. Oh really? Yeah, I film and edit loads of stuff for the socials. All my tricks and that. Got some sponsorship deals from clothing brands. Do loads of promo stuff. I don't stay still for too long. Tied up sometimes, but not easily tied down. Jamal laughs, confident, fun, charismatic. I'm usually up for anything. Bit of a wild card, pick me and I guarantee you won't get bored. Bored? Is that a skateboarder pun? It can be, if you like your puns. You turn to Louis, who smiles at you with a quiet confidence. I'm a footballer, but don't hold that against me. You didn't tell me you were a footballer. Too late to change my mind. Ozzy laughs and playfully nudges her. Well, I'm a semi-pro right now, but maybe moving up a league next season? Can we, can we just fan cannon? Is he from Wrexham? His name is Louis. That's Welsh, right? I'm pretty cool, calm, collected. Except on the pitch or in the bedroom. I'm looking for a girl I can be best mates with, but still have that spark, you know? And someone I can bring home and have a Sunday roast with my nana. Oh, you're a nana's boy then? Yeah, she's a vibe. She cracks me up. You love her. You look over to Ryan. He holds your eye contact intensely with distinctive ash eyes. It's like he's looking deep into your soul. I'm a professional footballer. You're kidding. Yeah, of course I am. Never played football in my life. More into music than sports. You're a musician? Yeah, singer-songwriter. I play folky stuff, but I love all kinds of music. I'm an old school romantic. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Life's too short for games. I want every moment together to feel unforgettable somehow. Good to know. Grace comes over and whispers to you. Why don't you ask the boys something a bit naughty, Robin? Find out something a bit saucy before you pick your boy. Okay, I'll ask the boys their wildest sex story. Okay, boys, let's hear your wildest sex stories. Oh, here we go. I'll go first and get this over with. Hope you didn't say that to the girl. Everyone laughs. I never put myself first in bed, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I took this girl to the jazz bar my mate runs. We stayed after hours. We were the only people there, so I kind of serenaded her with this song about her. And, well, it went down pretty well. We kissed and one thing led to another. We ended up having sex on top of a piano. On the piano! Boys got moves! Were you in tune with each other? Funny you mention it, midway through I noticed it was out of tune. We ended up tuning it together after. It was pretty funny. Classic. Mine was in a dance studio with someone low-key famous. Don't ask, I'll never tell. We were rehearsing for this music video she was making, just the two of us. We always had a flirty vibe, but I didn't think it would go anywhere. Then one day we were running through this steamy choreography and she kissed me. She was supposed to kiss me in the video, but she kept on kissing me and 
kissing me. Next thing I knew, we were getting down to it on the floor. Wow! Worst part was we'd overrun our slot and a set of random dancers were waiting at the door. Hot! Good to know you've got a naughty side, Ozzy. It comes out from time to time. I'll go last as you won't want to follow mine, Louie. Building it up, mate. Hope you're not trying to oversell it. Well, me and my ex were trying out handcuffs for the first time. I love handcuffs. You boys are dark horses. So I was handcuffed to this fancy four poster bed in this boutique hotel we were in. It was hot, really hot, but then, then what? The fire alarm went off and she got all flustered and forgot where the key was. So we were both panicking and I ended up having to kick through one of the bedposts. You're supposed to avoid hitting the post, mate. Ozzy and Jamal laugh and give a quick fist bump. Wish I had. I ended up in hospital with a broken metatarsal. Still wearing the handcuffs. My gaffer wasn't best pleased either. Had a game the next morning. Worth it though, was pretty jokes. Come on then Jamal, let's hear this story you've been hyping up. I was off in New York with some of my boys shooting this thing. We got chatting to these girls on the first night and we vibed big time. They ended up inviting me to their place. It was on a threesome. Yeah, and I'd never had one before, so I was pumped for it. But the taxi got stuck in traffic and the jet lag started kicking in big time. And I guess I crashed out and they couldn't wake me. I'm a heavy sleeper. So it looked like they gave up on me in the end. I missed out. Yeah, you definitely hyped that one up way too much. Yeah, you basically just fell asleep. Whole story, bro. You guys set the bar too high. What can I say? Anyway, enough about us. I want to know more about you, Robin. What's your type? I told the girls earlier that I'm into the boy next door type. That sounds like someone I know. You're my type too, Robin. I'm gonna flirt with Louis. Let's just say I might be feeling that spark you already mentioned, Louis. Intrigued to maybe explore that spark further? That sounds like a lot of fun, Robin. I didn't think I'd be getting attention like this over these boys, but I'm not complaining. You're a worldy, Robin. Your phone pings. I got a text. Robin, it's time to couple up with a boy. But first, boys, please step forward if you're interested in Robin. Hashtag couple up. Hashtag summer loving. I feel like I have just noticed that Ryan kind of gives Timothy Chalamet vibes. I think that's where they're kind of gone for design wise. He just looks younger. I don't know why he's even got the stubble, but I just, he looks like freshly 18. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Ozzy catches your eye and looks like he's tempted to step forward, but then looks at Grace and doesn't. Ryan takes a step forward. Eyes locked on you throughout. I was always stepping for you. You're not the only one. Jamal takes a big leap forward, giving a flirty grin. I'd be punching with you, Robin, but I'm not here to play it safe. Louis steps forward to join Jamal and Ryan. Wow, boys, this is flattering. So who's it gonna be, Robin? Ozzy is with Grace for now, but depending on your choices, you may be able to turn his head later in the season. So no one's ruled out. That is amazing. So it's gonna be either Louis or Jamal, let's be honest. I kind of feel like straight away off the bat, Robin and Louis would hit it off because they're both very sporty. If we were in here for a, a good time, not a long time, it would be Jamal. The end goal, I still wanna see if there's a girl we can couple up with, that's the thing. And I don't wanna break Jamal's heart because I feel like he could be end game if we don't find someone else to couple up with in the meantime. Out of the three options, I'm kind of swinging towards Louis. Unless we just couple up with Ryan because Ryan is there to couple up with. But then I feel like what if that rules out someone later down the line? I'm struggling with this one. I cannot lie. I think, I think I'm just gonna say Louis for now. The boy I want to couple up with is Louis. <gasps> oh my gosh, look! Fusebox, I love you so much. This, absolutely stunning. We are in the box. Can you see this? We are in the box. Robin and Louie is officially Robbie and Louie. I don't have to make the joke anymore. I'm very happy. I know I'm screaming, but I am genuinely very happy. <laughs> Let's just say you caught my eye. Well, like I say, I'm punching and I can't wait to get to know you better. Louis beams at you as you walk over to join him. He holds his arms out to hug you. I feel like it's not really in our best interest to give him like a massive snog straight off the bat. So we are gonna hug him. <laughs> you bring Louis in for a friendly hug. You wrap your arms around his muscular back and feel his strong arms around you. He gives you a friendly grin as you stand next to him. Really happy you picked me. I've got a good feeling about you two. Cheers, bud. Me too. Yeah, you two are going to be a vibe. Before you can respond, Bella bounds across the lawn, grinning from ear to ear. Whoop whoop, who's ready to take things up a notch? Always up for that. And Bella, looks like we've got two couples already. You girls are looking pretty pleased with your picks. You two boys know you're punching, right? Big time. 
Anyway, if you other two boys wanted to step forward, that would be great. Louis gives you a reassuring smile like he was never stepping forward anyway. Bella's infectious grin breaks out as Jamal steps forward for her. You seem like you might be a bit of me. Got that wild energy going on. Back at you, babe. Can't tell if we'd be good wild or bad wild yet. But I'm up for finding out. The boy I want to couple up with is Jamal. Bella and Jamal. Woohoo. I don't know what it is, but this series has already given me like the biggest amount of happiness. I think, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But so far, all the girls seem to have each other's backs. The guys all seem absolutely lovely. And I just hope I don't eat my words when our last girl comes down and makes her Ivy League choice. Sorry. You'll do for now. Bella and Jamal laugh. Keeping me on my toes, I love it already. Bella throws her arms around Jamal and gives him a big kiss on the cheek. Chin up, Ryan, not over yet. Looks like it's far from over. Everyone's heads turn as Ivy struts across the lawn, sashaying sexily and blowing a sultry kiss to the boys. Boys, 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 hope you're not getting too attached to your ladies already. Uh-oh. I'm Ivy. You boys are all looking like a bit of me right now. Something tells me you're going to spice things up, Ivy. Go hard or go home is my motto. No plans on going home anytime soon. She's not short on confidence, boys. You're not kidding there. Ivy makes flirtatious eye contact with each boy in turn. Ivy, I swear, if you pick my boy, I will put you in the hole you belong. Any kind of like garbage can or trash can or anything like that. I'm not that preposterous. Wow, your eye contact something else. Outrageous, isn't it? So boys, who fancies stepping forward for an unforgettable ride? You glance at Louis who gives your hand a reassuring squeeze. He stays rooted on the spot. Not me falling for this boy already, excuse me? Use box, how dare you do this to me? And if I am correct, and if Ivy steals Louis out from under us already, I quit. I quit season six. I quit double trouble. Sorry, Bella, but she is a worldie. Jamal steps forward. You do you, pal. We only just met. Ryan steps forward too. You had me with that entry walk. Intrigued to get to know you more. You're... You've got bags of confidence. Are you a performer? In some senses of the word. So who's it going to be then, Ivy? All you boys have got a little something about you. I know some of you are coupled up, but no one's married off yet. Something tells me a lot's going to change quickly in this place, especially after that text we got earlier. The boy I'm going to couple up with is... Ivy takes a sensual look at Louis. How did I know that was going to happen? Ryan. <laughs> Never mind not complaining. Did this all go smoothly? Or am I mistaken? Ivy and Ryan, and they kind of suit each other. I cannot lie. Louis leans into you. Wasn't expecting her to pick him. Ivy swaggers over and gives Ryan a big Hollywood kiss. Can you see them working? Maybe until someone new comes in. I see heads turning as soon as a new bombshell comes in. Think you're right there. Heads will turn. We'll be interesting to see if they're still all over each other then. It sure will. Intrigued how the first couplings are going to work out. Either way, I couldn't be any happier. I hoped you'd pick me as soon as I saw you. Oh really? Well, sounds like I made an impact then. Love how you played it cool when you walked in. Ivy and Ryan's kiss finally draws to a close. You two finally came up for air then. Epic kiss. Start strong, gonna make the most of every second in here. What was that text you mentioned? It said there was gonna be a familiar surprise for one of us. It said hashtag double take, hashtag blast from the past. You've got a good memory, Ivy. I remember everything. I am a scientist. You're a scientist. Brains and beauty. What else you got going on? Come find out. Ivy leads Ryan to the beanbags hand in hand. I feel like things are about to get shaken up. Yeah, feels like the tests are coming already. Well, we better get to know each other fast then. The couples break off and scatter around the garden. An excited, whispered tension about the upcoming surprise. You sit on the swing seat next to Louis, your legs brushing against each other. That first coupling was intense. Pumped with how it all worked out though. You look stunning, by the way. Loving that outfit. Really caught my eye. Sounds like I'm ticking a few boxes already. Yeah, for sure. Can't complain so far. Tell me a bit about yourself, Robin. What do you do? Well, I'm a personal trainer. Makes sense. You're in great shape. Maybe you can show me some tips in the gym. Maybe. Well, now we're coupled up. Is there anything you want to know about me? What are you looking for in the villa? What are you hoping to find in the villa? Maybe I've found it already. Really? 
No, I don't move that fast. I like what I see though. I guess I'm looking for someone nice who I click with. Someone I wake up and uh, I'm excited to make breakfast for. Someone I'm happy just being around, whatever we do. I guess I want a girlfriend who's my best friend too. If she likes dogs, that's a big plus too. You hear Ivy's flirty laughter from the day beds. Looks like some of the other couples are hitting it off too. Although I've already got my read on the first couples. Really? That's fast. I've always been a quick reader of people. Oh, have you now? And I like what my gut is telling me about you so far. Fancy continuing the chat? I'd love to get to know you more. Yeah, let's get to know you a bit better. Me too. Excited to get to know you on a deeper level. Great to hear, Robin. Was hoping you'd say that. You hear laughter from Bella and her partner from across the lawn. What's your read on the other couples then? I'm not sensing many sparks with Bella and her fella. He did step forward for Ivy, didn't he? Yeah. My gut says there'll be a friend couple only. I told you I'm not sure Ivy's going to be 100% about Ryan. Yeah, thinking the same myself. Lad, we're seeing things the same way already. You notice Ozzy and Grace sprawl comfortably together on the loungers. You notice Ozzy and Grace sprawl comfortably together on the loungers. What about Ozzy and Grace? They seem pretty close already. I'm sensing Grace might be more into him than he is her. What makes you say that? I thought he was going to step forward for you. Put a glimpse in his eye when you walked in. Interesting. Can't blame him. Think you turned everyone's heads. Louis looks deep into your eyes. I reckon we're the couple with the best vibe. What do you think? We're total couple goals. I'm feeling a vibe between us. Looking like a power couple already. Glad we're in the same place. Excited for where we'll go together. Seems like he wants to kiss you. I'm gonna kiss him. Why not? Test the water a little bit. A flirty smile breaks onto your face as you cock your head to the side and lean into him. You playfully pause, your lips almost touching, and you savour the moment of sexual chemistry. You bring your mouth to his and kiss his soft lips sensually. He lightly runs his fingers through your hair as the kiss intensifies. You give him one more soft peck on the lips as you draw the kiss to a close. That was something else, Robin. Louis glances around the villa at the other couples. So, were you tempted by any of the other girls? What other girls? <laughs> he laughs quietly, holding your gaze. So, did any of the other boys catch your eye at the coupling? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna say Jamal as well. Jamal did kind of catch my eye a bit. He's got something about him that I like. I get that, good looking boy for sure. I hope he's a backup to me though. Louis grins as he looks around the villa garden with a sense of wonder. This all still doesn't feel real to me. So buzzed right now. Should we go and see what the others are saying? As he stands up, you see his expression change to complete shock. What's wrong? He points across the lawn at a super glam new bombshell girl. You immediately recognise her face. It's yours. It's your identical twin, Amelia. Are we identical? <laughs> Do you know what? I'll, I'll accept it. I love her swimsuit. She's gorgeous, by the way. She is gorgeous. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Best surprise ever. What the actual? I'm seeing double. She looks more like you than you do. <laughs> this is the best. Like, why haven't we done this before? This is great, Fusebox. Surprise. Hey, sis. Amelia, I I can't believe you're here. Hope you're ready for some double trouble. Robin looks like she has just seen a ghost. I'm always shocked when I see my face too. Shocked I'm still single. But is Robin about to be single? Or will it be sisters before misters? Find out next time on Love Island. I am shocked. Shocked. Horrified. Who made this decision? I love it. Though I completely forgot about my theory about twins as soon as we didn't have two people come in straight away. Way. Um, and I also thought it was going to be a male and a female twin. However, that was not the case. We have two twins. I don't know how to feel about this. I am excited. I am ready to see what the rest of the season entails. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think so far? What do you think about Robin? What do you think about Amelia? Amelia! <laughs> Thank you so much everyone for being here. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of your week. There'll be more season six content. Thank you so much everyone for being here. If you haven't already, please do give this video a like. Subscribe to see more. Your likes help me out so much. The views help me out so much. It means I can keep posting these videos. I also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Ashley Amelia. And would love to see you there. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.